Cynthia Rodrigo. Welcome to The Hungry Tape. I'm the CEO and the owner of uh, The Hungry Tape. I'm Makisa. I'm also one of the co-founders of The Hungry Tape with the family. My background is graphic design and branding. Um, and I, I feel it all kind of came together when we created this establishment. And I'm just really happy to be able to do this with my family. Hi guys, I'm Tristan, I'm the youngest of the family and I do music and whenever I could help out doing the graphics that's when I help my sister out. And <laughs> um, this is Ellie, this is Ellie Tempe, Ellie. she's the little boss lady and queen. You'll often see her running about. Yeah, um, yeah. We're dog friendly here and so we encourage people to bring their dog friends. Small dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are the first vegan and vegetarian restaurant serving cocktails and um, it is a very atmospheric restaurant with a lot of heritage, uh, eclectic uh, interior decor. I've been a vegetarian for the past uh, nine years. The reason why is because of uh, health reasons and also for animal abuse and lots of other reasons. But um, after traveling abroad uh, with my children, and they became vegan and vegetarian um, about uh, a year or so after I did, correct? And uh, I, no, I didn't force them. They just came back home for a holiday from university. And then they, ju they just said, Mom, we we've turned Started vegan and vegetarian. I, I, I called like you that, up yeah. in the middle of the night. I was studying a social design project in London at the time at uni and it was all about sustainability and food branding and design because I studied graphic design. And the more research I did, uh, I discovered all the environmental factors towards animal agriculture and that really scared right. me and shook me. And I remember calling you and you were asleep and I woke you up and I was crying and I was like, Mom, I'm going vegan! <laughs> I was looking everywhere for quite some time for a um, heritage building because I love the brick walls and and uh, it took me some time but as soon as I found uh, that Chinatown was opening up for restaurant um, businesses I took the opportunity and I went around looking everywhere when I walked in here the agent opened this hole I looked up and I saw this high ceiling and immediately I said I'm taking it yeah. with the journey the interiors kind of just fell into place um, yeah. our styles are very monochrome very black and white even back at home our furniture our style everything's black and white yeah as we were so we knew that the aesthetic and the interior would be essentially black and white, yeah. with touches of colours. Correct. So everything kind of naturally layered on as we were creating the whole thing. Then the name came about saying, uh, okay, if it's black and white, you know, I mean, how do we go about uh, naming this restaurant, you know, with a black and white theme? So it was something Malaysian paying ode to Malaysian culture and heritage. You know, I, I thought, okay, did a little bit of research, and uh, we had to to have a Malaysian uh, animal. Yeah, so, yeah. so we found tape. You know, being mm. black and white, and it's it's a Malaysian animal, and Malayan herbivores, animal. And herbivores as well. And they're so cute. Right. Yes, so they're so adorable. So, that, so I said, oh, let's call it the tape. And Makisa came out with hungry. Yeah. So we was, put the hungry tape it was together. It like breakfast one morning. We were like either the dancing tape or. Something tapir. Yeah. And it's like boom, hungry tapir. So hungry tapir. And everyone, we asked a few friends and they loved it. So the menu, we, we say that it's east meets west. It's a lot of local favourites but made vegan with homegrown local ingredients as much as possible. Um, it's a lot of all day breakfast items. Um, my personal favourite would be our roti chana, which we've made vegan. We make that out of almond milk and it's uh, turned to be like a crowd favourite so far. Um, another favourite is our pink bombshell burger, so it's a beetroot patty and a beetroot bun. And we don't want to jump into bringing too many vegan meats into the restaurant, we wanted to make everything as fresh as possible at the itself. Um, and people love it because it's all pink and it's, it's delicious as well. Um, you know, we've got nasi lemaks and local favourites as I mentioned.
we're not here to change uh, people's way of eating. Um, we're trying to give everyone a healthier option. Yeah. I actually got the call when I was in Florida about this project. So I was like, how can I help out from halfway across the world? And the one thing that I could think is just curating different playlists for the restaurant. Because that's obviously, you know, people are going to come through. They're obviously going to try new dishes. When customers come into the Hungry Tap Beer, what are they going to take back home? And one of the best things, besides the environment and the food, is the different music that they could come and listen to and stuff like that. So we have cocktails here. Day drinking, we promote, we love that. Some of our top selling cocktails and ones that I personally love. We've got a new one called the Makisa Rita. I didn't name it. <laughs> Our, our head I'm bartender the only one did. A name um, right so that's now. a passion fruit. I've got one. That's a passion fruit <laughs> margarita, <laughs> and that's uh, with chili, and I, I love it. We've also got Cynthia's margarita, <laughs> which is pretty good. And we've got is, things like pina cool. coladas, mimosas, uh, sangrias. So very like boozy brunch cultured. Um, We've got to get one for Tristan. We have to get me a name. <laughs> <laughs> you got for a drink. For it. Okay. <laughs> So we're just really happy that all these heritage buildings aren't being knocked down to be another mall or another apartment block. Very and cool. we're actually yeah. like paying tribute to the beauty and tradition and all these buildings. Of Chinatown, you know? yeah, because there's yeah. so much history here. So we wanted to preserve it with everyone else that is doing the yeah. same thing around, around this area. So we're just really happy to be in this community and we're, we're just lucky to be here. Right. I feel like.